Hey everyone, I was asked to show how I created a Maker Coin in Fusion 360, and I think I was asked by Matthew to do that. And Ahmed asked me if I would print something in PETG. So we're going to try and do both of these at once. We're going to, in part one, we're going to make the coin, and in part two, we're going to print it in PETG. So let's start. I've got Fusion 360 open. And if you're an absolute beginner at Fusion 360, I highly suggest you watch Lars Christensen's Absolute Beginner series because I am not going to take the time in this to totally explain every little thing I do. Otherwise, it would be an hour-long video, and Lars is way better at that than I am. So in YouTube, search for Lars Christensen or Fusion 360 Absolute Beginner. So let's start. We're going to start with a sketch so we're going to click create sketch and i'm going to come up here to my little box up in the upper right i'm going to click front because i want to start a sketch on this front plane and first thing i'm going to sketch on this plane is a center diameter circle so i'm going to start here and i'm going to make this 30 millimeters in Fusion, you start with a two-dimensional drawing, and then you extrude it into three dimensions. Every sketch you start has to be either on a plane or on a face of an object. Since I didn't have an object to put this circle on, I had to start with a plane. And I can turn the origin off, on and off, and you can see it. Here, let me rotate this. You can see the, the different planes, three planes available to me. So I'm going to turn the origin back off because it gets in my way. So the heart and soul of any 3D modeling program, turning a two-dimensional drawing or two-dimensional into a three-dimensional part. To do that, I can hit E or Q on the keyboard, or I can come up and create and extrude. First thing it says is, what do you want to extrude? I'm going to click my circle. It says, how much? I can do this one of two ways. I can pull this out like that to where I want, or I can just type in the amount. So I'm going to type in 6 for 6 millimeters, and now I have a three-dimensional coin object to work with. Pretty simple, right? So, since a round coin isn't going to totally give me what I want, I'm going to have to sketch something on it to go around the edge to make it a little bit more interesting than that. So, I'm going to do something different than I have in the two, three times previous I've done it. I am going to create a sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on this front face. And I think what I'm going to do on before I do this, let's give my, ourselves a little bit of an aid for this. Let's, um, let's draw a line. So let's sketch a line. And let's sketch it from the circle, the center point, and it snaps in. And let's just put it up here someplace. And I'll hit escape to get rid of my line tool. Now I'm going to click on the line. And over here, I'm going to click on Construction. That tells it, that tells Fusion that this line has nothing to do with my actual part I'm making, my model. It is not, it is just an aid to help me draw, not part of the actual thing itself. So now that I've done that, let's create, let's sketch a, another center diameter circle. And I am going to put it over here till it snaps in on this line. And I am going to put it down here until it snaps in on the edge of my circle. And I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to make it, I don't know, 5 millimeters. This is free form, so we're just throwing anything out. Notice how my circle is black. That means it's locked in place. I cannot move that circle anymore. It's And, and I got it that way by, A, telling it's 5 millimeters and locking it into my center line that I created, my construction line, and locking it in to the edge of my circle. Had I picked a two-point circle, I would have had to add some dimensions to it. I would have had to lock the one piece of it into the... And anyway, it's always a good idea if your drawing is constrained, meaning it can't be moved around. It's not an absolute necess necessity for something this simple, but it's a good practice to get into. Okay, now I've got a two-dimensional circle on that face. Now I want to extrude it. Now. I can do a couple different things. I could cut it. I could hit um, E for extrude. 
I could click the lower part of it and I could cut that chunk out of it and say okay and now I could make a pattern of that going around and around but in this case I just want to add the top part of the circle so I'm going to hit Control Z to back myself out of that I am going to hit E for extrude again I'm going to hit the top part of my circle that's above the ring of the coin and I am going to extrude that this way the six millimeters and I'm going to say okay and now what I'm going to do is I don't want to do that I might want to go around 15 times I don't want to do that 15 times so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to create and down to pattern and then to circular pattern that allows me to draw one thing and then make a pattern of it around an axis so circular pattern wants to know what I want to make the pattern out of so I'm going to make it out of these faces if I I could make it out of features I could make it out of a number of different things but this is so simple right now I'm going to leave it set to faces I'm going to click on my little hump that I made there now I have to pick an axis to circle it around and I'll show you what happens if you pick the wrong one you get you get it not you oops hang on you get it not going it's going to try and circle like a helicopter blade around the top so that's not right if I were to click this one it's going to circle it around like that and that's not right either so we're going to X that one out and in this case we want the green axis we're going to click that and now I have what I want I want more than three I want I want to go all the way around that's where it says full over here I could make it go at an angle I could make it do a number of different things and quantity man eh, three is not enough obviously let's try, see what 20 looks like yeah 20 is too many let's try six oops that's 206 six fusion is one of those programs that it is going to do exactly what you tell it to do it doesn't care if you make a mistake so let's try 12 what's 12 look like it yeah 12 uh, yeah 12 looks good so say okay it's like the story of the young girl who wanted to send a risque picture to her boyfriend whose name was Danny she took the picture but when she went to tap on Danny in her contact list she missed and hit daddy and she did not get the results she was looking for fusion is the same way it will do exactly what you tell it to do fortunately unlike the young lady we can hit control Z in this and we can undo multiple steps and try again and trust me if you're anything like me you'll try again a bunch of times now I want to put some fillets on this because I don't like the sharp edges so I can kind of come up to modify and fill it and you know what I could click all these one at a time but I'm like way too lazy for that so I'm just going to come up and I'm just going to make a window like that and that's going to get all of those and let's try a two millimeter reader. let's try a three millimeter and see what that looks like uh oh didn't like something it was unhappy with me three millimeter why is it unhappy corner type let's try two let's try one huh, it liked one. Oh gosh three would have been three would have cut all the way across it stupid and actually i think one is a little too many too yeah, i don't know maybe not maybe not let's put it on the other side and see what it looks like over there so we're going to do the same thing again create up uh, modify and fill it and we're going to draw a window like that to get our lines there's you'll see 24 selected i could have gone around and clicked all 24 but you know, i don't got time for that ain't no one got time for that and we're going to put our what did i say two nope doesn't like two i must have said one there we go huh. you know what i could like that say okay okay there's our basic coin let's get some designs on it 
So to put a design on this, the way I do it is I start out with line art. If I can't find line art, you know, like clip art for something I want on the internet, and if all you're looking for is like something I did for a friend a little earlier, if all you're looking for is Batman and Superman logos, they're all over the place. You won't have any problems. And no, I am DC Comics or Marvel. I am not selling things with your logos on them. It was something for a friend. Don't send me letters, okay? So I already have something I made. It was something I found on the internet, and I didn't like it. And I have spent probably an hour or two doctoring it. So I already have it saved, and it has to be an SVG format for this. If you don't have a little tool that will convert a JPEG to SVG, there's a website called Convertio that will do it. It only allows you like 10 a day, but I mean, I'm like doing 10 a month, so it's not a big deal. So we're going to insert, and we're going to insert SVG. And it's going to, first thing it's going to ask me is what do I want to insert it on? I'm going to click this face. And I'm going to click the little folder up here to pick my file. And there is my file right there, hog2 fixed. And if you'll notice, it's way out too big. So we're going to kind of size it down. Let's bring this over and zoom it back in. And let's move it up to where we want it. Eh, a little too far over there. Eh, might be a little too big. Let's make it a wee bit smaller. And now let's move it where I want it. Now about right there. I like that. Say OK over here to stamp it down. Now, you've now stamped that image down onto the face of this. So what do you think we're going to do with this? We can extrude it out so it sticks out, or we can cut it into the body. Since this is a coin, we kind of want it to sit flat in your pocket, so let's, um, let's cut it in. So we're going to go back to E for extrude. And this is one of those things where you got to be perfect on what you click or you're not going to get what you want. Now, I've done this with this model multiple times. I know one of the things it leaves out is the nostrils. I'm going to get those first. Little cutaways for the ear, and I'm only going to do that one and then we're going to grab the rest of the model like that. So that's all there is to it. So now we're just going to give it a distance. And the distance is going to be minus 1. If I said 1, it would extrude it a millimeter away from the coin. Minus 1, and you'll see over here it says under operation. Instead of join or new body, it says cut. And cut is what we want. We're going to say OK. And there is our pig logo or my pig logo in the in the coin so let's rotate it and let's do the other side and on this side let's just put some some simple text in and what will what should we put in let's make it simple because we don't want this video to be any longer than it really has to be so we're going to create a sketch we're going to create it on this face Move it over where we can. always likes to move it over underneath the palette window. Can't figure out why. I'm sure it's something I'm doing. So we are going to sketch. And we're going to sketch some, some text. And our text window is, we can, we're going to be able to put this anywhere we want it so it doesn't really matter. And here we're going to type in the text we want. And... Since this channel is all about the Ender 3, let's say Ender, oops, Ender, and there it is, huge, we can't make it that big, let's make it 6 millimeters, and that font is boring, so let's pick a little something, something a little bit more exciting than, than um, Times New Roman or Arial or something like that, a Black Rose. Nah, that's ridiculous. No, there's got to be something in here good I like. Comic Sans, that's Carlito. Nope. Uh, what can we get out of here? Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's use that. So, let's put this about where we want it. And we could actually make that a little bit bigger. Let's
let's go to, let's try eight. Oops, that was five. Eight. Not listening to my own my own instructions about how it does exactly what you tell it to. Let's put that right about right about there. And we'll say okay. And we're gonna do this again. Sketch and text. We're gonna click here. And now we're gonna put in a three. And let's go get that font. I already forgot the name of it. Doesn't really matter. Let's get something different here. There we go. That looks good. I'm not going to save this, and or and we know we might print this tomorrow. You know what was this font? Let's escape out of that. Let's. That was Duralith. Okay, so let's come back in. Let's make them both out of the same font. And. Three, place it, make it eight millimeters. And you know what? Let's make it bigger. Let's make it 10. There we go. And we'll change the font to the Duralith that I had in the other one. I can't remember and talk at the same time. Okay. Oh, that looks good. I like that. And we'll put that right about there. And we'll say okay and now we're going to do e for extrude again we're going to select that it's only going to let me do one at a time here let's see if i hold down control if it'll let me do both uh no it doesn't really won't let me do two yeah there it went and we're going to say negative one and it's smart enough to know that i'm cutting because i put a negative number in we're going to say okay and just that simple. There we have a maker coin. And, uh, you may not like the style of this one, but there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Uh, you can cut into this. You can use a, a big circle up here and a little circle into it to make it kind of look like a shark's fin or a sawtooth blade. And you can make waves. You can do anything you want. I was just showing you something very simple. Next video, we're going to print this out in PETG. Unfortunately, it's going to be black PETG because that's the only color of PETG I got. Oh, one last step I forgot to tell you. Right click up here on the name, and I haven't I haven't saved it here. When I go to close it, the program will ask me to save it. But and you can also come up here and say save, and we'll call it um, Maker Coin for Video and say save it would have saved it anyway for me when i went to close the program so now we're going to come up to our name here we're going to right click we're going to say save as stl i just accept all these defaults i don't know what half of them mean anyway so i don't worry about it i say okay it pops a window up i am going to save it onto my desktop so i don't forget and make your coin for video version 0.stl click save Let's um, pop back to my incredibly messy desktop. Let's go ahead and double click it and let's take a look at it. It's going to open and cure. It'll probably be standing on end since I, since I design on that one face. There it is. So as you know in Cura we can rotate this around. I can click on it. I can click rotate. And I can just crank it around like that, and it'll drop it down on the bed. So, there it is. And next video, we will be printing it. Hope you enjoyed this video, got some use out of it. Catch me later, catch me on the next video, and we will print this in PETG. If you like this video, please click like, and if I've helped you any, Subscribe because that helps me out a little bit. Thanks. Bye for now